Hey friends, so Rollins and I are still in Utah. We're still hanging around here between Hurricane and Virgin. Uh, I made a joke the other day, one blows, the other one doesn't. I know, low brow, bad taste, whatever, deal with it. <laughs> Aside from that, uh, we're getting a little restless. We're gonna go for a drive. Um, I heard through uh, some people that were passing by don't worry, we kept our distance, but had a little conversation. They were just out for a walk and uh, they asked if we were to Grafton yet. Grafton is the remains of a ghost town. There's uh, only about four or five buildings apparently and a cemetery. So we figured, hey, why not? We'll go for a little drive, see what that's all about. Maybe there's not too many people around. It is Tuesday, so I'm hoping we should be all right. If possible, we're going to attempt to get the dog wet once again. We'll see what happens. I know that uh, we do kind of go along the river, so there might be a spot for him to go for a swim. So that said, um, it's uh, the beginning of May. The fourth was yesterday, fifth today, Cinco de Mayo. And um, yeah, we're just gonna go for a little, uh, little drive, a little adventure, just to kind of get away from the trailer for a bit and um, show you around, okay? for drive.
So we're here in Grafton. There's not too many buildings here. I think four or five. Uh, beautiful little area though. So a bit of the history. They moved in here, started settling back in the 1800s. And then they started dealing with uh, floods and attacks by the local Indians. So eventually they vacated the premises. But yeah, it's a nice little area. Hey friends, so as you just saw, we made it to Grafton, took a little walk, wandered around a little bit. Um, I was surprised at actually how many people were coming and going. That said, it was pretty easy to keep your distance and just kind of do your own thing. So took a few pictures, took a little video, that kind of thing. And then the dog and I basically went back into um, Rockville and went into Springdale, which is closer to Zion. I was actually looking for gas because uh, I was getting a little low. So found a gas station in Springdale. And the whole way there and the whole way back, I was looking for a spot to take him for a swim. And I'm finding that this area of Utah is like, if you want to get close to the river, good luck. Um, I saw one public park, again, with way too many people in it for what's going on right now. So I wasn't about to pull in there. And most of the time with public parks, you can't take them off the leash anyways. So you know, I don't want to be paying a bylaw ticket or some sort of fine because he's off the leash and swimming. I don't even know how close to the river it was. It's like for the next 20 miles from here east. Oh, you want to, you, you can't get close to the river. There's just no way. There was one spot where it looked like we might be able to, but the climb would have been too much. Basically through high brush and, you know, rocks and then down to the water. But yeah, no public access whatsoever. You have all this beautiful land and all this beautiful area and you can't get to the river. You can't go hang out on the shore of a river. So we're back home. Again, no swim for the dog. I tried. I guess it's all privately owned out here. So, you know, except for the public land, of course. Well, and this is, you know, you get to the river here and it's like a uh, 200 foot drop. So, still trying to figure out when is a good time to start going home. Looked at the map and I'm looking at about 15 hours normal driving time. So, towing, you know, hills and that kind of thing. I'm probably looking at 20 hours, say. You know, I always kind of notch it up a bit just so I plan a little better. Um, 
So 20 hours, do five or six a day. I figure if I give myself three days to get back, so that might be the 12th, 13th, uh, 12th and 13th of driving, 11th, 12th, 13th of driving, probably. Yeah, border on 14th. We'll see, not sure. Alberta is apparently opening everything up soon. So I'm not really impressed about that part. Um, my quarantine starts as soon as I cross the border and it's a mandatory two weeks um, if Alberta is opening stuff up so soon with the reported number of cases still coming in, I'm going to be quarantining myself for like two months. There's no way. That's just ridiculous. They're, they're jumping the gun on that one. All about the dollar, you know. Anyways, that's enough out of me today. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, ring the bell if you want to see when the next one's coming up. Got a short throwback Thursday tomorrow. Uh, just a little thing that happened on my very, very first road trip across Canada during the winter. It was kind of cool. But yeah. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. It's like working with a monkey.